If you're like me, you're in the middle class looking for secure investments. You want stable, non-fluctuating returns. You want passive income that's manageable come tax season. My 401k and my retirement don't give me the returns I'm looking for. I want to get into commercial real estate. I'll be honest with you. But I'm not an accredited investor. In enters CRE2U.com. CRE2U.com with tenant and common real estate deeds. Think fractional ownership of long-term single-tenant triple net lease properties with corporate guarantees. Go to CRE2U.com, your gateway to commercial real estate. Do you feel that BYU should stick with independence or go to a, a, let's just say, G5 conference? Which one do you think they should pursue? I don't think they should go to a group of five conference, personally. Uh, I think it's a lateral move, maybe even a step down at this point. Here's the thing, and I've had some discussions with some folks around Provo about this. It's easy to want to jump ship when the ship looks like it's, it's heading for rough seas. This is a program that consistently challenges itself with tough opponents. I understand that Utah's a natural rival. I get that. I get when you lose to Utah State, a team that you've had significant success against for a sustained amount of time, then it seems like things are just going down uh, down the chute at that point. That's not really true. Uh, the opportunity to go to Michigan and to go to Nebraska a couple of years ago, the opportunity to have, in a couple of years, teams like USC and Washington come into Provo to play in a tough environment, uh, those are things you should embrace. You just listened to a Cougar Sports minicast brought to you by CRE2U.com, your gateway to commercial real estate. For the entire interview, go to ESPN960sports.com or to our iTunes podcast feed.